Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to turn any image into a swirling, colourful, psychedelic vortex like the one you see right here. Let's get into it. Okay, so what you want to do first is grab an image of some sort that has a lot of texture and a lot of color. This is the one I'm going with right here. It's got a lot of different colors, a lot of different hues, and it's very colorful. So I think it could make a very cool swirling vortex. You can find images like this on uh, pexels.com or unsplash.com. They're really good sources for like royalty free images that you can just use wherever. Okay, so what you want to do next is go up to filter, go to pixelate, and then mesotint. Make sure the type is short lines and then press OK. Then go back up to filter go down to blur, radial blur, and make sure the amount is 100, the method is zoom, and the quality is draft, and then click OK. Then what you want to do is duplicate the layer three times. So I'm just going to name this one number one, duplicate layer. This one, number two, duplicate layer, and this one, number three. Alright, so we got three layers here of the same image. Then what you want to do is select the middle layer, number two, go up to filter, go down to distort, and then down to twirl. Now you want to choose a negative value for this, so something like minus, uh, I'm going to do minus 216 for this one. 12. Now select the top image and basically do the same, but instead for this one, we are going to do a positive value. So instead of minus 216, we'll do 281 doesn't have to be the same as the other one and then click OK. Next what you want to do is mess with the blending modes which is this little thing here click on the layers that you want to mess with and then go down to blending modes and basically this is where all the beauty lies. Choose one that you really like. I really like this one, but I also really like pin light. They're kind of two different vibes, but I will do darker color for this one. And then you can change the blending mode for the second layer as well. That can have some interesting results. I think I just want to keep that one on normal, to be honest. I think it looks best on normal. Then what you want to do is select the top layer and then go down to this right here, the adjustment layer panel, and then click on curves, which is right here. Then you should get this pop up and it's basically a line that you can mess with. So we will mess with that line. Just do whatever you want with it, move it wherever you want see what you like what kind of colors you like yeah not really digging this but we'll give it a shot all right i think that's a little better then click this rgb panel and then go down to red and basically do the same but this just influences the color red in your image
and then go down to green. And then go down to blue. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Jesus. I kind of just want some blue accent colors. Yeah, like that. And you can even mess with the blending mode of the curves layer as well. That can have some interesting effects. We'll just have a look here. I think I'll go with saturation blending mode, but you can do whatever you want really. It's very uh, experimental. And then basically if you've got any textures to throw over the top, throw them over. I've got a little uh, grain, grain layer here. I'm just gonna put that on top. I'm gonna change the blending mode of this, but you you really don't have to do this if you don't want to. Um, mm. You can do it out of any image you want, um, but the darker saturated colors tend to work better. I've tried this with lighter, brighter colors and it just it just didn't have that same kind of feel. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching guys. This is how you make a swirling vortex if you want to make one.